Well, it took about 3 days of grinding, but here it is. Thanks to Haze's model, we could remove Jaya from my previous run. It ended up being a lot more complicated than I expected, but the basic idea is there. Haze reduces res, model reduces res more, so we get a ton of damage with other arts operators. We delayed deploying Haze because she does too much damage with her model, and we need the robots to drink as much cum as possible before we kill them, since otherwise we won't have enough DPS. We deploy the tentacle to tank for Perfumer and Cutter, otherwise they'll die, between all the damage from Dorothy and the explosion. Click and Utagi will instantly kill Dorothy and remove her from the map. This is convenient for me because I need Click and Utagi to kill the boss later anyway, so I kind of just get to remove Dorothy from the map for free. And one tentacle to replace the one that Deep Cover was guarding. This will catch a couple of guards while the skill is on. Or really just one. And then Deep Cover will take over as the extra damage once the boss moves away. Dorothy is down. You might notice I'm playing on the CN server. This is so I can abuse Click's model. I needed some extra damage to kill the robots on time since I need to time the kill along with the boss's death. On Ian it was really RNG and dependent on whether Cutter hit the robots or Dorothy at the start. But with click model it doesn't matter. Haze cleans up the last of the bows. And Deep Cower is one who let us kill all the guards. Wow, Deep Cower is being protected by three tentacles. Now, if you've ever wondered how to precisely deploy an operator on a specific enemy, look at this now and look at the shadows of the enemies. The shadow is where they actually are. Pay attention. The soldier shadow was just a bit closer to the center than the robot shadow, so we can block him instead of the robot. The shadow isn't exactly the hitbox, but you can just ignore the model and look at the shadow. It gives you a much clearer idea of where the enemy actually is. This is extremely useful when dealing with drones in particular, because their actual model can look very unclear on the map sometimes. Anyway, we woke up one robot because we don't have time to kill it later in phase 2, so we need to kill it in phase 1. But we can't deploy an operator there to kill those robots. So what we have to do is bring it over to our operators on the right. We delayed retreating Cutter because we needed the DP from her retreat. With Utage costing 44 DP, we needed a bit more than 99 DP to smoothly open. We style out the robot so Click can use her skill to on the sleeping robot. This might not be necessary, but it was a convenient way to set it up. And that ensures that most of her damage goes on the sleepers, which is where we wanted to go. Haze takes care of the robot with a few tentacles, while Otage DPS is the boss. Now we time Otage and retreat her just before Cutter is back up. This is because we need the boss to die in a really particular fashion. We need all of our skills to be ready for the second phase. But we need Perfumer skill 1 in order for to survive the boss, otherwise Cutter would die. We can't use Haze or Click or we won't have them up. We use two Cutters as ones exactly. And we have about 12 seconds left to kill the boss. If it gets too close, I kill it with Cutter as one. Which causes the phase 2 to be a bit RNG but doable. In this run, the timing were perfect, so we killed the boss just before it teleported. No need to use Cutter as one. Then we drop all of our DPS with Haze's model. We wait and just to tag it until the boss starts the attack. That way she, the first attack flies over and she lasts long enough to get her entire skill off. Perfumer starts healing on her second heal after Cutter is hit. This is just the part of her that lives the longest. And we spam Cutter as one as much as we can. This deletes the boss before a single teleport. Most of the enemies haven't even spawned yet. Way smoother than my run from last year, and that's even after removing Jaya. Now we're just spamming tentacles like crazy, because Haze is a high priority target, because she was deployed last, other than Deep Cover. But we need to use Haze Q2 to, to kill the robot. So we just throw enough tentacles for the robots to have other stuff to shoot, and then Haze can use her skill to kill the robot. That only leaves a few trash enemies, and the robots themselves. 
Once the trash is gone, we use Dagi to DPS them a bit and retreat everything else. Lost a bit of DPS on Otage because the, there was a gap between the rocks, but it won't matter. We wait until Deep Cover is out of range, use a tentacle to bait, and then deploy our operators. Now, Cutter and Perfumer cannot tank a robot, Cutter will just die in a few hits. All she's doing there is getting one as one off and buying a bit of time for, for DP generation for Otage. The other robot gets one hit off on Utage and then it's blocked. Utage cannot heal, cannot heal just the punch under Perfumer, but if she gets shot too, that's too much. She kills the robot with her full attack speed bonus and then click and haste clean up the last robot. I'm so happy I finally got to use haste. 